beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the there notification bell and do us the favor of but tapping on it you were blessed and stay blessed you. this is the secret let me tell you this is why many people never experience the power of god in church because we don't allow him we come as men of god and want to interrupt him the ushers come to interrupt him the worship team comes to interrupt him but if we can align with him the reason why you are coming is first before you love because you love god second because you are coming to grow thirdly you expect his power to touch an area of your life is that true yes so is 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 time wasted if you come and commit whatever number of hours you spend here and you cannot leave back with an evidence many of you here this is your first experience think how terrible it will be that you left wherever some of you are pastors that came to refire your spirit and get an impartation some of you are leaders in various places how could you come and just watch a man talk for a few hours and share the grace and go it's not only sin it's wickedness it's not only sin against God it is wickedness hallelujah our job is to make sure you experience God in his entirety the program was so designed that every face tackles an aspect of your life and that by the time we are sharing the grace what escaped praise and worship will not escape the fire of prayer what escaped the fire of prayer will not escape revelation you see that so the programs are designed we're not religious people trying to advance a man's ministry god is bigger than that this is serious business of changing people's lives are we together we're excellent people but we're not stupid people when it comes to transformation i'm not um, you can dress well and look well but the moment it comes to the destinies of men we must be serious we must take it seriously because we are stewards by grace and we must be accountable unto god hallelujah praise the lord i'm going to speak briefly um but I, I want to pray i just want to pray as i was sitting i sensed in my spirit that there were people who needed um a touch of the holy spirit and and for various reasons these things happen this touch can bring deliverance this touch can bring direction when the holy spirit touches you um there are many reasons why he touches you sometimes even you who is imparted you may not know why but for many people that is the answer to your prayer the anointing comes as the answer to your prayer it is not faith that answers your prayer faith connects you to the anointing it is the anointing that does the job your faith is your conviction faith does not bring results on its own the job of faith is to connect you to the power of god it is the power of god that supplies the possibilities hallelujah so you shouldn't be here having sicknesses having burdens and then 
we're just preaching and then it's not it's not working in your life so i want to pray for you hallelujah there are families that are represented that deserve the touch of god and um i know that he will bless us he will lift us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah just two things the lord is imparting the spirit of wisdom this is this is what this is what the lord is speaking to me and this is not everyone but that anointing there is a grace there is an unction that is going to come on several people is an unction strange grace for wisdom grace for wisdom supernatural grace for wisdom all the overflows whether one two three doesn't matter where you are um, it, it, there are exact impartations that are coming on people right now let me just do that job by the spirit i stretch my hands by the spirit and i command it so now i declare i send an anointing upon the word let the performance of the word be accomplished everywhere inside overflow one overflow two overflow three i command it so in the name of jesus wisdom this is what many of us need in this season is coming upon you that grace that grace wisdom to surmount mountains mountains everywhere there are people following online that grace the angel of his presence is bringing upon your life the hand of god is resting upon you wisdom the spirit of wisdom receive it i know that we're all getting it but there are specific people that this is for you will not escape it once it's for you the word of the lord will look for you will look for you no matter where you are for as long as you are within this vicinity the word of the lord will search for you and that impartation will happen in your spirit in the name of jesus i speak it i command it i decree it as an ordinance in the spirit everyone who must carry this level of grace wisdom wisdom that will bring an end to mountains that stand before you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the second thing that i see the lord imparting is the healing anointing now this doesn't happen all the time but i'm seeing it happen healing anointing the lord wants to bring a new level of the healing anointing in the name of jesus christ there are people that must carry that anointing the lord is saying i have been waiting upon you there are people whose bodies need the touch of the spirit not just you being healed the healing anointing that grace you have seen it in your dreams you have seen it in visions in prayer meetings god has told you but in the name of jesus i activate that dimension in the name of jesus take that anointing take that anointing the healing grace the healing power of jesus the healing power there are some of you who are visitors this is your first time coming but the lord brought you because you need an encounter with that unction in the name of jesus receive receive of that grace let there be a transference of that grace he that dwells in the secret place of the most high
us one last prayer. I hear in my spirit restoration. 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 This is what God is doing. Restoration. Opportunities. Restoration of anointings. Graces. Graces. Connections. In the name of Jesus. I'm hearing it in the spirit. Restoration. Restoration. God is creating scenarios in people's lives. Recreating it again. Recreating it again by the Spirit of God. Restoration. 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 Make sure you believe it. Restoration. Restoration. Financial restoration. Spiritual restoration. Restoration in career. Opportunities. Relationships. Listen, there are people here, the dimensions of God you used to experience. Something happened and it looked like that portal just closed. I'm hearing in my spirit restoration. Let there be a reopening of those doors. The gate that was open in the spirit that gave you access to that dimension. Let it be reopened. Regardless of the reason why it was closed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let it be opened. Your relationship with the Holy Spirit is the access that you seek. In your relationship with the Holy Spirit is the wisdom that you seek. In your relationship with the Holy Spirit is the power that you seek. In your relationship with the Holy Spirit is the influence. If we will spend half the time we waste around committing to His presence, the pursuit not looking for rema not looking for
power not not all of these things focusing staying with him there are many prayer warriors that will never find his presence because we have turned it into idolatry there are many fasting giants that may never find him because they are just motions there are many bible study giants that may never find him because we shroud ourselves in activities the power is not in the activities is in the sincerity of your heart your pursuit it's not in the activities it says and ye shall seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart please sit down if you can a lot is already happening now just allow those under the anointing this is koinonia I like you to be sensitive tonight as I teach. We have begun the year. Expect impartations. Impartations mean that God is doing something impartation means that there is a transference you see that there is a transference of possibility and whether you are in any of the overflows let me tell you truthfully speaking the only advantage that those inside have over those outside is just the convenience that does it spiritually speaking those things don't make any there's no difference at all doesn't matter what nation doesn't matter where it's just our psychology to think we are nearer to the man of God God can speak to someone in overflow three smuggling himself somewhere near the wall nobody knows and then God just visits him like that this is the ministry of the spirit hallelujah I want to teach you something tonight that I really believe with all my heart will grant you access to not only have intimacy with God but it will grant you access to walk in the reality of signs and wonders I will continue to teach these things is my assignment to guide us to help us become spiritual people you don't become a spiritual man by frowning your face you don't become a spiritual man by being a talkative you don't become a spiritual man by show of religion it is a dimension in the spirit you climb to when you are there everything around you knows you are there it's an exact location there is no guess about it hallelujah when god gives a word by now you already know that every time prophecy comes there is always a commitment there is always a commitment hallelujah in overflow one there are two people the power of God is coming on please bring them inside I want to prophesy to them you are here working miracles I worship you I worship you. You are here, wiping every tear. I worship you. Waymaker, waymaker, miracle work on this deep light in the darkness. the word for those people the Lord says even the lawful captive shall be delivered even the lawful captive I break the siege of witchcraft there is strange operation of witchcraft 
I command the siege of witchcraft to be broken in the name of Jesus even the lawful captives shall be delivered I will contend with them that contend with you I will contend with them that contend with you even the lawful captives the siege over your families the siege is broken right now the siege is broken I decree it and I declare it by the authority of the kingdom the siege is broken the siege is broken the Lord says I should continue prophesying it that the siege is broken is broken i use this as a point of contact to speak to everyone under the sound of my voice if there is anything sitting on anyone's destiny in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands and i command in the name of jesus that every chain that holds the destiny of anyone here i command that that chain is broken right now in the name of jesus over your life and over your family I declare that it's broken in the name of Jesus please sit down sit down just allow me to do my mad thing here for a few minutes we'll get back to the word the spirit of death oh death where is thy sting oh grave where is thy victory I shut the mouth of the grave. I shut the mouth of the grave. Why am I prophesying this? I shut the mouth of the grave. 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 I the I shut the mouth of the grave. In the name of Jesus, over every family. I shut the mouth of the grave. I shut the mouth of the grave. I shut the mouth of the grave. Listen, let me tell you. Hold on. That's not what I'm teaching. But you see this grave is a spirit. There are people there that can call people who are alive to come and join them. I have a series there and I will teach you death, hell and the grave. I will teach, the, well, we have a lot this year. But you see, this grave you see is not a pit. There are people, it was it not a conversation that was happening, Lazarus and they said, please let somebody go there. That means someone that is out that's why i say oh grave where is your victory that the grave can choose a person and say bring him to join us i say it again the mouth of the grave the mouth of the grave is shot over every family shot over every individual hallelujah listen don't mind the physical actors that act it can be accident it can be anything it's a lie there is a call the grave as a living thing can pick somebody and say let him come and join us i've seen the spirit of death you know that so for me it's not it's not a it's not a mystery at all hallelujah do you know i once saw a vision of someone a real vision i saw the person already buried but in the physical he was walking happy and ha he didn't reach three months that person died in the realm of the spirit he is already done with the person is alive having plans whereas the grave has called him pray in one minute and shut the mouth of the grave pray don't be afraid 
Legete Caparusia. Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? Oh death, oh death, oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? I curse you by the God of heaven. Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? Pray, pray. Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? Pray for your family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on. Let me talk to that woman. You see this woman? Leave her. She knows why she's coming. Come. I'm looking at this woman and I'm seeing a woman that has already died. It's over with her. This woman I'm seeing. She has been seeing it. Dead men calling her. Calling her in the night. Some of you have seen it. People who have died. That's the grave calling you. Pray again and say I reject that call. I reject that call. Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? Makapogoto Sokotoba. We challenge the gates of the grave. We challenge the gates of the grave. We challenge the gates of the grave. Hallelujah. Please sit down. Just help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. This, this is what should be when you come into the presence of God. Burdens lifted, plagues stopped, not time wasted. Not time wasted. Only God knows how many obituaries were averted just by having access to intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Don't live your life anyhow becoming a victim of the wickedness. Let me teach you something. A am I boring you? Am I wasting your time? Next time you have a dream and you see dead people calling you, don't get up and just jot it down. Whether it is raining or not, if you have to cancel your job for that day, is it not when you are alive you go for work? If you get up and see dead people where I don't care whether it's your own mother or father, once you are dead, it's gone. The familiar spirits use the face of individuals. Some of them can be our loved ones. They come and they dine with you. There are encounters. There are people who have died in Christ. They are called the spirits of just men made perfect. I have encountered some of them. But this one is dead calling you, calling your children. Sit down, allow the devil come and destroy you. That's what happens to people. They don't do anything about it. And you see, and because they don't act, one day you find out that you just get up. Whereas it was concluded. Remember the book of Job? They were discussing in heaven and the man was living happily. And in one day, everything happened. That an entity has left this realm does not mean it has stopped functioning. This realm is not the only realm where people function. There are powers that operate. They can go out of this realm and call people. Jesus knew that principle. That's why he stood and called Lazarus back. This is how to be spiritual. Not just for yourself, to help other people. 
now with this knowledge god can reveal to you something the devil wants to do about somebody because you know what to do about it you don't sit down and it happens and say hey i saw it oh you stop it this grave you see read what solomon said about it in the book of proverbs it can never say enough this grave it keeps opening hell and enlarge itself opens receive people finds young people just when people are at the prime of their life that devil comes from wherever don't ever make death look like a mystery it is as predictable a spirit as sickness innocent people plan their lives i don't know why i started talking about this plan their lives and do all. do you know when the devil finds out that there's nothing he can do with your life he can't make you live god he can't make you this the next plot is to kill you whether or not you die in christ or not at least you are dissociated from your body it's still a plus for him make sure you insist that you are here for a long time there is work to be done give birth to children and before the ch children are still young you die and leave them and leave them in the hands of wicked people it's not to make you afraid it's to let you know that death can it has it attempts death is boastful you say oh death where is your victory it's important to go where you know God is. You don't know when your word and your deliverance. When, when, when we say invite people, it's not because a man of God is looking for fame. Somebody is the answer to a family that the devil is about to crash. Just coming to stand in the cold. And that's the end of it. Hallelujah. Death. We're ending that plague. You can live long, you can live strong by choice and with confidence. I choose life. You choose life for yourself. Choose life for your children. If they are too small to choose, your decision can cover for them until they get to the age of discretion. Don't sit down and allow the devil say this one is small. You see how the devil kills children as much as he kills people. Hallelujah. Let's try to discuss something. Thank you so much. For those of you who are coming for the first time, this is Koinonia. This is Koinonia. First John. We're looking at the epistle of John. I want to share a few things about the spirit life. God is helping us to build capacity and he's helping us to become spiritual people. And part of the, the parameters for measuring spirituality, like I've taught us, is first our conformity to the image of the Christ and then second our comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom. But then there is a dimension of it that I want to introduce to us tonight. And is a dimension where Christ is seated at the heart of every individual and I'm not just talking of born again born again is a decision is a willingness to embrace the Lordship of Christ but there is a journey that a believer must follow to get to a point where Christ is experientially seated in his heart that place is the place of power that place is the place of authority that is the place where satan death hell and the grave can come to you and go back because they do not have anything in you there is a realm of immunity i'm trusting god that we rise as believers to dimensions where we no longer are the receptors of these basic things of the kingdom but we become the distributors of this reality is that true first john chapter 2 and verse 15 a popular scripture here i want us to examine it just listen to me carefully first john chapter 2 thank you jesus first john chapter 2 first john chapter 2 verse 15 
the Holy Spirit is speaking to me again and I will bring laughter to her family and I will bring laughter to her family I will bring laughter you will hear again the sound of laughter the sound of melody you will hear the sound of laughter you will hear the sound of laughter that's what the Spirit of the Lord is saying you will hear the sound of laughter you will hear the sound of laughter love not the world neither the things that are in the world please follow me carefully if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him verse 16 for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world 17 and the world passeth away and the lost thereof but he that doeth the will of god abided forever go back to verse 15 there is a journey into what we call carnality carnality is not um it's not necessarily a bad word it's just a description of a state please listen carefully when we say a man is carnal it's not supposed to be an insult are we together the bible says for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace so the bible gives us the progression of carnality carnality is not materialism carnality leads to materialism are we together carnality is not unrighteousness carnality leads to unrighteousness listen very carefully and this is how the journey starts number one love not the world the word world there is the world system the governing system the system of activities that are in the world it's not just talking about um, um it's not just talking about the cosmos alone you see that it's not just the word cosmos like the social system of the world alone but it also has an extension is the word aeon the the thinking pattern the mentality the system of operation the modus operandi that comes with the world system listen it says love not the world so that is the foundation that's how believers or people become carnal the starting point of carnality is an attachment an attachment to the system listen not receiving cars and houses that's not carnality not prosperity not poverty no that, that's not what i'm talking about many people have taught carnality from a very legalistic and religious standpoint and have robbed people of enjoying the blessings of god that's not what i'm talking about at all but then he says the word there is eros love attachment attachment so the first thing is that when a believer is about to um, begin to walk with God the first dimension of the workings of the spirit is to be able to culture and pull your attachment to this system and the appetites in this system you can have things but when they have you it's called carnality the mistake of the rich fool was not his possession he said my soul find rest that was his mistake not not the abundance but that the basis for his rest was in the supposed acquisition of those things are we together now so the bible says love not the world it's a warning it's a warning that if you want to be spiritual do not be attached that means every one of us by default born of a woman there is a probability to being attached with this system the flamboyancy that is associated with this system their their desires and their lusts and their appetites that this is something that by default we can become victims of then he moves further and says neither the things that means it is possible that you hate the world and all of that but the things that are there you can be attached to them 
you see but let me tell you forget about walking with god when the things of this world are glued to you the bible we're, we're, we're still on that journey it says if any man loves the world that means he gives you a little test like saying if any man has a pounding headache there are signs that that man probably has malaria so he's saying that you can check the depth of your love for the the love of god that is at work in you you can easily check it by your attachment your attachment the same way you check your temperature your pressure and all of these things that you can check that love dimension and then it categorizes them into three it says all that is in the world the next verse 16 for all that is in the world can be categorized into three number one he calls it the lust of the flesh the limitations that come to you by reason of wearing a human body if you did not possess a body there are certain things that cannot happen to you but now because you sustain a material body that there are side effects to having this body are we together now and he's saying that you must walk with the holy spirit to culture the attachment that can happen to things by reason of wearing a body and then the second he says the lust of the eyes the limitations that come upon your life on the strength of the things you see how many of you know that the bible says the eye is the light of the body there are things if you did not have capacity to see they will not be planted in your heart the word imagination comes from the word image and that's how we think we think in pictures so you your 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 eyes creates a perception and it latches onto your heart and then it begins to be the basis of your not responding to the impulses of the spirit are we together now the lust of the eyes and then the third is called the pride of life you've heard me teach it the pride of life is different from pride you cannot have the pride of life until you have obvious achievements you can have pride whether or not there is anything that has been achieved but the pride of life is the vain glory and the self glorification that is a derivative of obvious achievements like nebuchadnezzar having built babylon he said make me a 90 feet gold of my stature and that at the sound of all the music instruments let all men bow that's the pride of life the pride of life is what happened to lucifer i will exalt myself above the stars of god i will be like the most high until he was charged with iniquity are we together now and so he's saying that if you can manage the effect and the influences of these temptations in your life that the love of the father is in you and that this will culminate into a life that is spiritual listen the depth to which the power of god flows through you all these miracles these signs and wonders that you see they don't just happen because hands are laid please i, I like us let's let's be um please come david Dam. let's let's not make a fool of ourselves here there is a limit to which you can walk in the anointing just by laying on of hands there are dimensions you have to dig that spiritual well by yourself a track record that is known by principalities and powers and angels and all the forces in the heavens you don't just speak and then god it looks like god owes your word attention no sir no sir for i am a man under authority and the authority recognizes my submission and my loyalty and on the strength of my submission i say to one go and he goes i say to another come it's not my eloquence it is the authority and my degree of submission to that authority are we together now so he says love not the world brothers and sisters let me tell you thank you David. this is the problem that jesus came to solve you see if you have an encounter with jesus listen He's not going to ask you whether you believe in the Old or New Testament. That, that is nonsense. Jesus is not going to ask you all those things. Jesus is not going to ask you and say, which part of the Ten Commandments did you keep or which law? Or, no, no, no. He's going to ask you one question. Just one question. His emphasis is to see whether you are seated 
at the throne of your own heart or he's seated at the throne of your own heart it's called Christ self-centeredness and self-centeredness Christ-centeredness is when Christ is the epicenter the pivot of your life this is what Jesus came to give us it is from the standpoint of that state that everything you have can profit you God so designed that you can acquire things without Christ being at the center of your heart but that becomes your undoing because they will destroy you and wreck your life brothers and sisters I don't care how many hours you pray I don't care how many Bible study concordances you have I don't care how many services you have per week if you have not assumed a posture in the spirit where Christ is at the epicenter of your heart you are carnal period period you are as carnal as the word carnal it's true it's not an insult it's a description it's a state of a believer you are spiritual not just to the degree to which you pray in tongues you are spiritual not just to the degree to which you access revelation by diligence you can commit your mind and your spirit to access light without being spiritual theologians have spent years i mean remember the scribes and the pharisees they were carnal yet they had the five books of moses of heart so knowing the scripture by head is not necessarily a proof of spirituality it can be helpful provided christ is at the center of your heart the foundation for a life of greatness listen the foundation for a life of the miraculous any man and woman of God you see around the earth that God is using mightily to do great things carrying and hosting the presence of God that individual has through sacrifice come to a point where Christ is at the epicenter of their lives not money not fame not cars not houses are we together not wife not husband not marriage that does not mean you are unconnected to these things but that christ sitting in your heart now gives value whatever comes comes under his authority if you don't get this this is this is this is power 101 if you don't get this thing forget about spiritual power there are fasting giants who fast with them they are getting lean but they are still sitting on the throne of their heart no side won't work that way christ must become the center of your life and you can know your attachment your attachment to things your attachment to this system is God helping us when your life becomes Christ-centered your life will speak particular languages number one thy will be done thy will be done is the language of men and women who have crucified flesh and self and that Christ is entirely allowed to be glorified in their lives number two that all that is done in and through your life becomes to reveal jesus the revelation of jesus becomes the obsession of your life not the revelation of your prestige not the revelation of your educational prowess not the revelation of oratory and money and power and influence and all of these things the revelation of jesus in and through your life this is a language that is a commitment from a life that Christ is at the center. Number three, that any and all that you do becomes for his glory. The Lord's prayer, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and glory. Thine is the kingdom. I receive all of the blessings, but yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power. Yours is the glory. The Bible says, and they glorified God in me. Do you know, listen, do you know the reason why the more I 
by the grace of God, keep learning about God. I am seeing why it is hard. Come, David Dam. Why it is hard for many people to get the attention of God and to be committed with certain things. Remember my miracle service message last Friday? Can God trust you? That's a powerful message. Go and sit down and listen to it. Because what God gives you is a measure of his trust for you. It's, it's as simple as that. If there are dimensions you are praying about and say, Lord, lift me up, take me high. And God says, no way. Stop praying and saying, oh God, ask, Lord, what is it in me that is the resistance? What is in anointing that God cannot give you? What is in prosperity that God cannot give you? Mike shared a very powerful scripture here that he that did not spare his son but offered him freely shall he not much more with him give us all things but God is not a fool just because he said I will give you all things does not mean you just say come and carry all things he will vet your heart until he finds himself there are we together think about the things that we pursue just think for a moment list them in your mind you don't have to chorus them but list them money career power anointing revelation children wife husband house whatever it is cars and all of that none of these things in themselves destroy but when they come to you the state of your heart can make them evil or good. Are we together now? Yes. Do you know the foundation for jealousy? Listen, the foundation for envy, backbiting and all of these things is one word. Self. 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 It is because I want to give a perception that I am a big man. So if somebody calls me Joshua Selman, I now say, where is the apostle? You didn't add it. You see that? My ego resonated with something that is locked up within me. And I react. So I say, this, this guy, you are not, you are disrespecting me. You are trying to say, I'm not anointed. You see that? And this is, our lives on earth are, it's like an, an action film. People acting out the level of flesh and self and carnality. Sometimes we call it spirituality, but it's really carnality. Really carnality. Love not the world. Brothers and sisters, I show you a secret to rest. This is where high blood pressure comes from. Hello? Hello? This is where high blood pressure, ask the doctors, they will tell you. Self-inflicted worrying my ego is on the line see right my ego is on the line if this thing is not done i prophesy to david dam if that word does not come to pass they will now think i'm not an accurate man of god so my ego is on the line i'm not desirous of the prophecy to happen because i want to see his life change i am more concerned about the validation of my anointing than his own change that's the problem the scribes and the Pharisees had. It was not healing. They would not have a problem if it happened through their hands. But the fact that it didn't happen through their hands, they just found an excuse and said, Madam, don't get healing on Sunday. And Jesus said, what are you saying? If your donkey falls inside a well on Sunday, will you leave it there and say, I will come back on Monday? You like money and you are talking. This woman, her, her health is more than your own donkey. If your donkey falls inside a well, wouldn't you go and get it? hypocrites jesus told them do you know if i can bring every one of us to a point where nothing in this life can take the place of christ i have brought you to a place is a level in the spirit where you will watch satan like this and he will watch you like the gulf that separated the rich man and abraham this is how you will stand truly speaking this is what empowers satan in our lives you know i've taught this here in this house comes when satan comes satan is not as accurate as we think he is listen when he comes he wants to know what is in your heart and the way he will know it is by touching areas in your life at random if he touches your relationship and you don't react he says it doesn't mean 
anything to you he touches money that's the one that's the area he gets for many of us he just touches your your hundred naira disappears and say no way we are fasting in this house who can and the devil says that's it that's it you think because you mention fasting god is glorified no that fasting is a is a revenge it's an emotional revenge mission your anger and your carnality is making you use a spiritual cover but it's still carnality and you put everyone under pressure nobody is eating six to six whoever did this and that and then the devil says that's it and let me tell you what he will do he will sit on your finances and rubbish your life because he knows that that is the area in your life that would distract your prayer life distract he doesn't have to stop you from praying studying the bible it's too hard he just comes to the center of your heart and touches one thing that will boomerang in every other area of your life think how hard it is for him to try to stop your prayer life stop your word life destroy your husband destroy your wife destroy your relationship it's too hard so he comes to your heart because whatever is in your heart is the control center truly of your destiny you see that all of a sudden they withhold your salary for two months and a man who was a gentle loving godly sincere born again committed church worker all of a sudden becomes a wild animal in two months because the devil got it there so instead of him saying pastor alpha beat your wife beat your children beat your relatives destroy your spiritual life he just comes and says, pastor alpha what is that one area that christ is not yet lord over when he captures it it will create all the effects that he wants satan cometh to me what is he looking for something that gives him an attachment and let me tell you that thing is what we call lost an attachment i hope you like what i'm, pre I'm preaching this is a deliverance message yes it is yes it is yes it is i watch do you know brothers and sisters kai whatever god did to me may he do it to you truly speaking i say it with all humility my life is a free life i am i will be i will be lying if i tell you it was all my effort i think there is something about the sovereign power of god maybe it's an election of grace he did it but the moment hold my hands david down another person come and make a call these are the luggages we carry one other person the ladies i don't know how you are going to hold me find a way of holding come 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 we're acting something here hold anybody come and hold my hand here come can they hold you she's afraid of holding me she wants to hold david down now watch this this is a prayer warrior I'm showing you your spirit man you are a prayer warrior you are a fasting giant you are a word addict but you are carrying these are the cares Jesus is begging that you give him that we are refusing how old are you I'm 30 you mean it I thought you were 42 this is the Lord because a broken a broken um, what spirit can dry the physical bones and it will show on your face so this guy is carrying all this load do you think satan is so foolish to allow this load fall off you with the advantage he's getting do you know how satan ties them he doesn't use a rope he uses your heart that's what is there this is how to be spiritual you come to a point where you say lord i love you but these things are occupying my heart and lord i'm not irresponsible but then you have to become lord of my life genuinely i am too attached i can't sleep i sleep for one hour per day because i'm thinking about money a man can have nothing except it is given and you let go the issue of the job the devil will now deceive you and say you better be responsible if you don't think about it it won't come and he said no jesus i hand it over to you hallelujah this is the way of the cross you are getting free you too you are strange because you are now feeling lighter ah, now all of a sudden you could pray before you go to pray after five minutes you stop praying on your own and you are thinking but now you could stretch for one hour two hours you are becoming lighter and then all of a sudden this one is a lady hallelujah are we together 
this is a lady or, or a, a, a gentleman. He can mean anybody. It doesn't have to be lady or a, a, whatever. Lord Jesus, I must make it happen my way. And God is saying, you will wear yourself to death. Lord, age is not on my side. Is it that you are not seeing? And God is saying, I am Lord of all. If I don't give you anything, it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow. And he said, Lord, I've been looking at this lady's picture. I can't even pray. And God says, I will, if you think I'm going to talk to you about that lady, you are joking. You better talk to me. Leave this lady and say, God, I want to. But this lady, she has become an idol. Maybe the lady, yes, it's true. That's the name. It's called idolatry. Let's call it what it is. She has become an idol. Not because she's bad. Are you getting what I'm saying now? But because she's doing something to your heart and it's affecting your relationship with God. So God is going to say lay it down. Lay it down does not mean leave her. Lay it down means be willing to leave her. Hi. And you say, oh God, no now. How can I leave this guy? This is my 11th relationship. And while you are talking all that nonsense, God doesn't say anything. He allows you. Then... You now cry, cry one night, lie down, roll, and let it go. Your spiritual life. You notice that the moment you surrender, something lives in you. The more you die, you can trace that this came alive because of this that went down. You see that? Love not the world. Love not the world. This one is ministry. No, I must shine. My colleagues started ministry before me, and I mean, I must do ministry. This, this is a lot of, especially some of us that have the grace of God upon our lives. No, I must start the prayer group or the church or the koinonia or whatever it is. And God says, Look, calm down. For three months, you are not holding any meetings. I said, God, my whole reputation was on this small fellowship. Now you're asking me to close it so that they won't respect me again. God said, That's exactly what I was trying to show you. It was never about the prayer meeting. It was about you trying to use spirituality to build an ambition. So lay it down. You lay it down and then your encounters that stop resumes. Never will it resume. Because you are, you are passionate about hearing something. So that when they gather you say, okay, ladies and gentlemen, I just came back from the throne. And God said, you won't use me like that. Is God speaking to us? by the time you lay these things down let me show you the moment you focus on Christ all of you come closer I'm focusing on Christ look at what is happening physically are you seeing this my focus is on him and I turn back and find out so the goal was never to take them away from me the goal was to be the epicenter of my life now watch this whereas before I was the maintainer of them now he's the maintainer so anytime he says give the car after all lord is it not by your mercy it came take it not oh god this voice if it's you let my window share all these all these these things we do are proofs of carnality i was sharing with the leaders somebody called me to confirm whether it was god that spoke to him to send fifty thousand to somebody and i asked him i said if that god told you somebody is supposed to send money to you will you ask to confirm and say lord is it you it's carnality it's the same thing we are saying from my heart to the heavens jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you from my heart to the heavens jesus be the center prosper financially because of their attachment to money their attachment obsession obsession if they are passing and they smell money they turn their direction and God says no way it doesn't work that way the proof that you are not attached to anything is your willingness to let it go the genuineness anything you cannot let go you are attached to it yes sir yes sir Oh, I'm so blessed hearing this message myself. Are we together? I am shocked at how many of us are shortchanging the power of God in our lives through our attachment to things. 
How about pastors attached to things, titles, attached to all of them? <laughs> Love not the world. This is how to be spiritual. You are giving yourself space to host his glory. Lord, I thank you. I'm trusting you to get married. And Lord says, all right, I will direct you. Say, no, Lord, this is, this is the lady, this is the guy I must marry. If you are the one, it must be this. And God says, that's not the way it works. Thy will be done. It is for your glory. Your thoughts are higher than my thoughts. Your ways are higher than my ways. I give you all the praise. That's a spiritual man. Lord, this is the business I want to do. I thank you. I have passion for it. But Lord, I am totally submitted to your will. That which you want is what I will do. Hmm. That's the language of spiritual people. You see what God is doing in this ministry? It is because it is not my ministry. If it's my ministry, I would have been far older than I look now. Think how you think how I'll have to beg you and say, please don't be angry. Pastor Femi, come next Sunday. No. Please, if you're a pastor and you are giving yourself that headache, please come to the fountain where great men can rest. There is a Sabbath where he takes over your life, your ministry, and all that concerns you. A man can receive nothing except it is given to him. Born this into your spirit. You cannot have Naira and Kobo except the majesty opens the heavens over you. You cannot have any idea until he gives to you. You can invent your ways of doing things and weep and suffer and struggle. That's why we don't give. You count offering and count five Naira. You add puff puff one thousand. Took another drink. 1,000 or wine. Are we together now? And then you come before God and squeeze 10 naira. And you are smiling now. All shall wait and God is looking at your heart. Look what Jesus did in the church. He came and stood and saw what people were giving. It was a reflection of their attachment. It wasn't the money. He saw a woman who had all. Do you know why Jesus was touched? Because she really didn't know who he was. If she had known him, it would be hypocrisy because he was there she just came that means she was doing it unsupervised it was what she would do whoever this god is of the hebrews i love him and i lay down everything love not the world this is the problem of many people's destinies attachment attachment to money god gave you a car all of a sudden you carry that car and put it in your heart the garage is not enough for it how can you have a garage for a car and, not, and no altar for God? It's, it's carnality. We build our homes with garages for five cars and then you meet with God inside the toilet. You, you see our value? When you go to ease yourself, that's why you say, oh Lord, I'm alone with you. And God says, you are not serious. No. You provide a cupboard where you keep your document, your certificate, because your paycheck is there. And then where do you keep him? He's not in your heart. He's not even around. Far be it from me to create a shrine to keep any other thing when I've not made sure. He says, David said, I'm sitting here in a palace and Lord, I know you sit in the heavens, but I've not built you a house. And God said, ah, you would have built, but you've shed so much blood. However, it was good that it was in your heart. Or you have gathered the materials together and let your son be the one to build that temple. All I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted. All I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be chapter 15 let me show you something in the story of the prodigal son Luke chapter 15 please give us verse 11 I found out that both the elder brother and the younger brother did the same thing the story of the prodigal son for many years we have harassed the younger brother and left the elder brother all of them did different versions of the same thing follow me 
verse 11 and he said a certain man had two sons how many sons two sons next verse and the younger of them said to his father give me a portion of goods that falleth to me and he divided unto them now watch this do you know that the house was all about his father but the children had access but then the child was angry because it was not in his name that's selfishness self-centeredness wants it in your name so that somebody was healed in koinonia no i'm not happy let it be that apostle joshua selman was the one who god used so i'm not i'm more concerned about my name being touched to the miracle than it is the god of heaven that touched the person that's self are you seeing that now yes the younger son had everything but every time he saw his father he had to wait on his father daddy i want something and the father was okay just a few minutes i said no no i want something so that i will it will be in my name and said daddy i'm tired of depending on you ah, that's what christians do lord i'm tired of waiting on you for this power give me this thing so that i can do it anyhow i want on stage why must i wait for you and worship before you come don't you know that is falling my hand after clapping for me and giving me water i come and stand on the stage and i say lord you have to come whereas people on my is my t-shirt they are wearing with my face not your face so lord give me this power so that i can operate it independent of you prodigal son he didn't want it he wanted it in his name meaning his control the father said all right everyone that asked receive it now watch this he says and not many days after the younger son gathered all together he took on his journey are you seeing he did not want submission uh -uh. a self-centered life wants to be the lord of yourself the custodian of your decisions to hell with any and everybody i am the lord of myself it's a terrible way of living it says and he did what wasted wasted his substance with riotous living party and all of that because he felt by showing his friends money they will respect him you see that and so he showed all of that and what happened we're reading and when he had spent all there arose a mighty famine in the land and he began to be in want where did limitation enter his life when he left there was abundance and there was supply could it be that your limitation in every area is a reflection that you are dissociating yourself from the authority of the father building an empire for yourself and now you are having to foot your bills by yourself 15 and he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country and sent him into the fields to feed swine brothers and sisters once in royalty having abundance to the point that even the servants were considered privileged people now because he declared that he did not want his father to be the regulator of his life and his activities he wanted to regulate everything by himself this was his destiny and he would fain have filled his belly with this horse that the swine did eat and no man gave unto him 17 and when he came to himself you can be sure that he came to his mind he said how many hired servants of my father have bread enough to eat and spare and i perish with hunger 18 i will arise and go to my father that's what someone needs to do this night and i will say father I have seen against heaven and before thee 19 I am no more worthy to be called your son make me as one of your servants verse 20 hallelujah and he arose and came to his father but when he was yet a great way off listen his father saw him and had what compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him keep reading and the son said to him father I have seen against thee and in thy sight I am no more worthy to be called thy son 22 but the father said to his servants bring forth the best robe now hold on the elder brother is about to come now so watch carefully bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet 23 
and bring hither the fatted calf and kill and let us eat and be merry why for my son was dead and now is alive to be separated from the authority of god is death to be carnally minded is death you see it there but to be spiritually minded is life and with it peace and he was lost and is found and they began to be merry scene two now the elder son was in the field and he came and drew nigh to the house and had music and dancing the guy will always say he's innocent let's examine him now and he called on one of the servants and asked what these things meant 27 and they said unto him thy brother is come and thy father had killed the fatted calf because he had received him safe and sound and he was help me and would not go in therefore his father came out what if, whoever that father is must be a good father the father left the party and came out and met him and entreated him 29 and he answered now watch this you see this this is what the father the boy said lo many years do i serve thee neither transgress i at any of thy commandment and yet thou never gavest me so two of them wanted ownership it's just that one had it secretly in his heart and another verbalized and said give me two of them had the same lust it's just that one was vocal enough to manifest it whereas and was he not eating in the house was he not celebration that was going on was he not a calf that was but he wanted he said let me go and make merry with my friends is it not the same thing the younger brother was doing two of them two of them were expressions of the same thing one was quiet just like you and the other one is vocal like the sinner roaming around but the truth is that it's still the same thing jesus you be lifted higher higher be lifted higher jesus you be lifted higher So there can be an outspoken brother who is carnal and wants everything. It must be car, it must be money, it must be reputation. And you are the quiet brother, you are the elder brother. You like it, you like the honor, you like the prestige. Are we together? You like and you can kill for it. It's just that you are not that courageous. So we will be deceived into thinking you are the nice person and the other one who is vocal. But the word of God declares to us that two of them need the attention of their father. Their father attended to the younger one and he still had to come and attend to the elder one because two of them had the same problem. Christ-centeredness maybe it's because you have not had a big ministry that's why we have not seen the full potential of what is in your heart it may not be that you are humble maybe it's because joshua selman has not owned a private jet that's why you think he's a humble brother so god draws me down say mr man stop looking at jet look at my face so that let's flog this out before jet kills you and takes away there are people who would throw god out of the plane and remain there alone Tonight is a call. You want to experience power? You want to experience miracles? You must come to a point in your life. Brothers and sisters, you can stand in front of your Jeep like this and say, what a beautiful car. And turn and say, Lord, truly, if you make demand of this, I will give you. And you are not just doing church language. It's from your heart. Yes. It's from your heart. That way, when God gives you the gift of a wife, you will not beat her and say, I must beat you. That's how we are in our family. When we are angry, we beat, we ask for forgiveness later on. That attitude is because you do not know that a man cannot have anything except it is given to him. When God gives you children, you will not allow them to become lawless and say, no, it's westernization. Because you will know that everything God gives you, he demands that you act as though it's his own. 
God never gives us ownership. Owners are rebels in this kingdom. We are stewards of everything. His resources, mysteries, whatever it is. It belongs to him. It only passes through me. So brother, you want to become a multi-millionaire. Do you have the grace to give and give and keep giving and support the work of the Lord and support lives? If it's not in your presence If it's not by your hand If it's not by your spirit, please don't let me have it. For everything I need is in you. If it's not in your presence, if it's not by your hand. Your spirit, don't let me have everything I need is in you. Question Does your wardrobe belong to him? Does your bank account belong to him? Does your anointing know you fasted for it to come, but does it belong to him now? Does your wife belong to him? Does your husband belong to him? Does whoever you are in a relationship with, does it belong to him? Do your children belong to him? Or they are his property? You are only a steward over them. Does your business belong to you? Does your church, does Koinonia belong to him? Or is Joshua Selman's property? Is his um, ladder of greatness? Ah, far be it from me. Too young for that kind of stress. Don't let me have it. Let everything I have be from you. Please don't let me have it. For everything I need is in you. Listen, this is the level where you will see dimensions of power beyond your wildest imagination someone will sit down on your bed and stand up and all of a sudden the fibroid is gone it was so unconscious there is an effulgence of glory that you carry and walk with you broke is a joke God will shake people everywhere to make sure he brings resources for you the things that people do for me never never stop amazing me I thank God for the things that God does. But I am so... Sometimes I just look and I say, Lord, Kai. Someone was going to bless me a few days ago. And it was quite a very large amount. And the person just said, oh, please send me your account number. And I just, as I was ending the call, the Spirit of God was speaking to me about a family that that money was for. You know why God can speak to me like that? Because my life, the account and the favor is his own. I was so happy when he said it. Not just as a law for abundance. It's with all pleasure. My one desire is that you be praised. That you be praised. That you be praised. You're my one desire that you be praised, that you be praised, that you be praised. Hear the word of the Lord tonight. Please come unto me. Come unto me. All ye that labor, labor, profitless labor, labor that you have carried your heart and put inside. <laughs> There is a realm of rest. A man can enter the rest of God. It's not irresponsibility. 
everybody knows he's the doer of the miracles he is the opener of the door he is the lifter of men you have separated your ego from these things if it happens well for you glory be to god if it does not happen well to you lord be praised if the child comes lord i thank you for the testimony if the child does not come lord while i wait i still love you that's one who is christ centered listen that's a spiritual man that's a spiritual God is speaking to us. We need to be careful. Our lusts and our appetites are leading us through roads of destruction. We need to come back and say, Lord, I hand everything over to you. People are marrying wrongly because of self, flesh. The lady must be this beautiful figure eight. The guy must be this, a millionaire must be this. And people keep jam-packing rubbish and trouble into their lives. How about people who don't even... Gone are the days, this issue of hearing God. People have eroded it. You just get up and say, I want to go to Abel Kuta because there's green pastures there. How about brothers and sisters? Let's respect and fear God. There were times where people never took any step until they heard from God. They would rather be considered failures. We've thrown all that away because of our ego. Let them not say, I'm a graduate and I'm not working. If it's not in your presence, if it's not by your hand, If it's not by your spirit, please don't let me have for everything I need is in you. Listen, we're about to pray. Think for one moment the causes of your worry this morning. Think of the reason why you woke up by 2 a.m. in the morning. All that worry, trace it down. It is self. It is self because he gives his beloved sleep. You rejected it because you are empty. I don't mean waking up to plan your life. There are many they just wake up and say, Life. What a terrible life. How can this ministry grow? How can this ministry grow? Oh Lord, do this. this. How can this ministry grow? And God said, you have been talking about ministry for one week. You have not talked about me. You forgot about me and you have been drumming. Lord, my church must grow. And God says, how about me? Will I grow in your heart? Say, God, leave the issue of you. My church must grow. Prophecy came that is my year of this and that. Lord, why is it that I go for meetings and nothing happens? I love you, I fast, but I stand at the end of the meeting, I'm ashamed. And God says, when you die to me and it no longer becomes about you and your reputation, then you will see the glory of the Lord. This is my daily prayer. I'm, I'm praying that God will infect you with that hunger tonight. Please hear me. God is speaking to us. I want you to take, I'm not preaching. I'm talking from the depth of my heart, transferring something from me to you. We need to repent of self-centeredness. And let Jesus Christ be the epicenter of our lives. May God forgive me if I'm lying. But there is nothing I know in my life today that I cannot give God. I ask for forgiveness if I'm telling a lie. But there is nothing I know. Especially things. Things. I can't be that stupid. Some of you are about fighting with somebody because of 100 naira change. God spoke to you since last month. Leave it. Say, no way. I fight for my right. Lord, this is how I left it the other time. They would take me for granted and God is talking to you. Oh, the tailor was supposed to correct this. You must correct it and I won't pay you anything. I will show you that I'm educated. And God said, you see this? The foundation is flesh. Listen, blessed are the peacemakers. Have you heard that scripture? Do you know who a peacemaker is? He says, seek peace. And if you don't find it, pursue it. Look for it by any means. For everything I need 
is in you. We surround our lives with needless worries as a proof that God can no longer provide. Ha! I will never forget during our crusade, one of, I think it was 2006, a Jimmy had a laptop. It was the only one that had, was it? No, it wasn't a laptop, it was a computer. He was the only one who had a computer at that time. And we're trying to raise money for the crusade. And that's how this guy, I think he was, he just put a notice in the uh, hostel there, Suleiman. Computer for sale. I was so touched. I don't know how many of them he has now. He will get it and buy it and buy it and buy the factory. That's what happens when you're hard. Stop admiring people that the gates of heaven are open over. Find out what they did for God to trust them this much. Don't say you are lucky. It's because your father is this. My father is a lie. God supervises our hearts. I've taught it here in Koinonia, but let me say it. When God is closing a door over somebody, don't open it. Don't open it out of sympathy. There are people that I've wanted to help with all my heart and God has stopped me again and again. There is a dealing God is rotten in their life. Don't interrupt the dealing of God. Are we together? There are pastors for many years. They love God but their church will not grow. They are serving God and sometimes you can pity them and say, look, just invite them. Let me come and speak over your meeting and mobilize people for you. And God says, you are doing the mistake that Achan did. Well, um, not not Uzzah. You are doing Uzzah's mistake. You want to help God to hold the ark. And you find that it will not only strike you, it will strike others associated with you. Our hearts must be given to him. Ladies, please look at me. Sisters, let's hand over our hearts to him and end this lust for things clothes shoe they are wonderful god will give you more than your wildest imagination brothers let's drop this big manism and appetite for titles and a proof to show i am rich so that all and sundry will respect you is all nonsense if you are great you are great honor is a mantle if you don't have it you don't have it. it's as simple as that Tonight is a night of thorough repentance. We are going to cry before God and confess the idolatry, the sin, the carnality of idolatry to say, Lord, I've carried this thing on my head like a do or die affair and it's almost killing me. I hand it over. There is peace in handing over your life to God. There is peace in handing over your children to God. There is peace in handing over your job. Hand over the difficult boss. Don't try to go and be looking for a Godfather and the Godfather say 50-50, agreed and you are in trouble. No. Allow God who will do it 100-0. He will give you. Bless you. We commit ourselves into things and projects God has no business in because we cannot let him have his way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. so much of my testimonies because I want people to focus on Jesus and the things that I'm teaching we came back from Lagos last week and after the meeting I was counseling people and I came out to just you know see the pastors and, and then a gentleman was standing there and he was telling me that sir I just wanted to tell you that I brought a car here for you and then I'm looking and say, my God, what is all this? I, 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 because when I hear those kind of things, I feel guilty. It's as if I'm even bullying them. I just, just talk to this, please talk to the protocol people and let the church, whatever they want to do with it there. And I came back and I think the day before yesterday or so, it's still called the protocol. The church has said, somebody has given a apostle a cow. How do we convey it and bring it there? It is this car that someone has left God for. Father, this car must come. This is already, um, what month are we in now? February. Car! It must come. And God is saying, is this how small I am to you? 
I want to show you something. Open to the book of Matthew. Say, Matthew chapter what? God, I've been crying. I've been saying, can God? is saying, look, look how you are making a mess of yourself. When you love God and fear God, please hear me. He would take the prayer request of somebody. It's not because I'm a man of God. Go and ask him what I'm doing. Don't just say you are lucky. There's no luck in this thing. You work it out with fear and trembling and passion and fire. Have your way. Have your way. We are fighting too many battles in our lives. These battles are not even there. They were created by our lust. Sister, let God bring a husband for you. Please rest. Rest and watch what God can do for you in two weeks. Ten years of labor and manipulation can end in two weeks of saying, Lord, I hand it over to you. I vow that I'm going to be a blessing to whichever man you bring. And while I wait for him, I will love you, I will serve your house, and I will prepare for the blessing. God says, that's it. That's all I'm looking for. And all of a sudden, the brother will not be able to sleep again. He will see clearly. There's no haze. There's no confusion. Straight. This is your wife. Stand up and go and see her parents. Instead of walking it out by yourself and sweating around. What of brothers? I must do this. If I can call this one and then he calls this one for me and then I just connect with Pastor Alpha. If I can beg a Jimmy and then beg a Benga and then beg this and that. I, if I put them from, I think three plus three will be six. Three plus three will be, not be six forever because there are demons. There are wicked forces that will keep minusing one, minusing different things and the equation never adds up. But when you add it over to God, one plus one can be six. One plus one is anything God says the answer is. If God says it's one million, that's it. Mathematics say one plus one must be two. God says, I create. I don't see and No, no, no. Whatever I want, the earth is the Lord's. So God can say your third class plus your mother's firewood job equal to an estate. This is God. This is God. Whereas your flesh can say NMPC plus an auxiliary uncle in the bank can still equal to pain and suffering. We are going to pray. Tonight, the Lord is bringing us to the place of rest. The spirit life demands that our desires, listen, our appetites, our ambitions, our aspirations come under submission to his will. This is all God is asking. I was so blessed by Mr. Job's testimony and the wife. Did you hear what they said? They had been trusting God for a baby boy. Are you seeing that? But notice the progression of the way he shared the testimony. The first thing he said was his spiritual life and the way God put his life in order. And then without any effort as it were, a child came could it be that your prayer request your heart is too full for your prayer request to be given to you when you empty it and keep Christ alone then he begins to bring every and anything we are going to sing take all of me please take it higher for me don't just sing it as a special number I want you to sing it from your heart. Some of you, as you are singing it, God is going to be dealing with you and talking with you. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. All of me, all, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Use all of me, all use of all me. of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, take all, take of, all, me. Of, me. all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Anoint my everything. Take my everything, I release my everything, you 
have my everything to say. All of me, all of me, Lord, you have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, all of me, Lord, you have my everything. Use all of me, all of me. That sits in my heart attempting to take your place. Lift your voice and cry. Take it away. Except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain. Except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain. Except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain. Take it away. Let that circumcision in the spirit. Let that circumcision over money. Let that circumcision over power. That circumcision over titles. Let it happen, oh God. Purge me. Purge me. Purge my heart. I'm so attached to that will not allow me and throne you a Christ-centered life a life where everything about you aside from God nothing is a do or die affair Christ Lord and throne hallelujah Prayer point number two. Mention everything you think is greatness in your life and say you come under the Lordship of Jesus. Mention it. Whatever God has done and given you, mention it by name and bring it under the Lordship of Jesus. The marriage you gave me, I bring it under the Lordship of Jesus. The children you have given me, they are taught of the Lord and great is their peace. I rededicate them a handover ceremony the job you gave me I hand it over to you the relationship you gave me I hand it over to you if you brought it you are the one who can maintain it the burden is killing me pray the burden is destroying me Lord, you are the one who gave me the prayer group, the church, the business. I'm tired of struggling by my strength. Bring me rest. Bring me rest. The rest that only you can bring. Belongs to you.
attached to anything i'm attached to even if it's you that gave me break the attachment is the attachment you are dealing with go ahead and pray that ungodly attachment that makes you secondary in my life please pray koinonia you are programming yourself for strange signs and wonders chapter 8 verse 18 Isaiah chapter 8 we are praying you let tonight's teaching enter your spirit and you will watch your life like a charm favor open doors I tell you the Bible says behold I and the children whom who gave you who gave you is God that gives increase I and the children the Lord had given me are for signs and for wonders in Zaria, in Nigeria, in Israel. But where do the signs and wonders come from? From the Lord of hosts. I and the children that God has given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts. We are going to pray. You are connected to this vision you are part of this ministry pray and say lord not only will my life produce signs and wonders i will be an epistle of that possibility lift your voice and pray i declare pray that i and the children that the lord has given me we are for signs and for wonders for signs financial signs and wonders supernatural signs and wonders dimensions of revelations dimensions of encounters dimensions of increase dimensions of influence dimensions of prayer grace access to the mysteries of the kingdom spiritual men kingdom minded people Hallelujah. Can I add one last prayer point for us? I like you to pray and say, Lord, I make a vow before you that whatever you bring to pass through my hand or my life is already rededicated for your glory. Pray that prayer and watch my God surprise you. Pray that prayer and God will give you in one day what your salary cannot give you in one year. Pray that prayer and God will give you houses you did not build. Dimensions of revelations you were not fasting for. Pray. Lord, I rededicate everything. My intellect, the anointing, my home, my wealth, the influence. Please pray.
Chains will just be breaking. It's already happening at the back. This road, this very road, the power of God is setting people free. This road, this road, go ahead and pray. let you go tonight must let you go tonight we insist in the spirit Hallelujah. whatever you came here with must let you go tonight hallelujah Jesus. Yes, Lord, you will visit your people. This is the pool of Bethesda tonight. The pool of Bethesda. The pool of Bethesda. There is a stirring 
I know when something has been stirred in the spirit. I know when there is a stirring. I tell you, there is a mighty stirring. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Yeah, yeah. has just disappeared a lady has been healed right now right now check yourself a lump in the breast I don't mean reduced it has just disappeared just like that <laughs> hallelujah 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 there were things I planned to do, but right now something has been stirred up in the spirit. And let's just ride with it. Lift your hands. He has been made Lord above thrones, dominions, and every name that has been named. I'm about to challenge principalities and powers. The powers that has kept you bound. Many of us are under yokes and spells of darkness. I tell you as you shout that name we will invoke his presence there will be a mighty deliverance mighty deliverance everywhere inside and outside at the count of three listen goodness at the count of three you're going to shout that name many of our issues and problems are tied to demonic oppressions but as you shout that name the sword from the hand of Elohim will strike through your life and cause a separation between you and anything God has not planted. There will be mighty deliverances. I see mighty deliverances that will happen even outside. Are you ready? At the count of three, shout it with all your heart and there will be breaking of curses and yokes. Are you ready now? One. Two, get ready, get ready. The fire of God is everywhere. Three, I command devils, come out, come out. Yokes, be broken. Yokes, be broken. Yokes, be broken. Yokes, be broken. I confront powers. I confront principalities activities of witchcraft by the fire of the Holy Ghost outside outside in the name of Jesus everyone under the influence of every power that is not of God I command those demons go 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 I give the chains for Falling, I need a change. Falling, rekete ba 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 ba. I need a change. I need a change. Falling, 
Falling in pain I need the change Falling Break Chains Break That's the command in the spirit Break Chains Break It must leave you tonight Break Chains Hallelujah. Straight up, God is going to be breaking the chains of delayed marriage. Lift your hands, everybody. Delay. The Lord is instructing me to cause that spirit that came from all kinds of ancestral activities. Believe it or not wickedness is real it has tied down many of us even maritally especially our families hallelujah you're going to shout that name Jesus one more time and as you shout that name anyone under the sound of my voice whether you or your family members you may not even know that this may be an influence over your life but tonight in this pool of Bethesda, as you shout that name, my God will visit you and tear apart anything that is causing a delay. Lift your hands. Goodness, I see many ladies who will receive their deliverance right now. At the count of three, with the clash of the cymbal alone. One, two, three. Now I cause that spirit. I cause that spirit. Powers, powers of darkness, spirit husband, spirit wife, I curse you, I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost, I curse you, bring them out, I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost, release their marriages, every spirit that you have been covenanted with, that is stopping you. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, bring them out. Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage. Be open. Gates of marriage that has been tied down. Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. This is not all of it. Hallelujah. There must be a breaking. Right now it will happen. Some of you, it may not be directly on your life, but your family members. The sword of judgment is coming upon altars of darkness that say you will not marry. Lift your hands. My God, I thank you for the fire of the Holy Ghost. When I count three, shout that name. That power must let you go. That power hey. must let you go. Hey. I come tonight with an apostolic unction in the name of Jesus. Hear my sound in the realm of the spirit that at the count of three, let God's people go. One, two, three. Jesus. Let them go. I command the release. Exodus. Exodus from this land of delay. Exodus, I prophesy, I decree, I declare, establish it. Hey! 
They must go tonight. They must go tonight. They must go tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This row, just lift your hands. Just this row, lift your hands. Because I see the angels of God standing. And I'm wondering why they are concentrated on this row. Listen, when I count three, I see the angels of God moving with cups, but they have fire in them and they'll be pouring it on people. It's still an aspect of deliverance. At the count of three, this will happen. Thank you, my God. One, two, three. Let the angels move right now. Let there be a movement, a stirring, a stirring. A stirring, a separation, a stirring by the power, the fire, the power, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it, Eva. Break it, Eva. Close. Bring them out. E parando kupalianda kapata. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, Eva. Si parata pata I hear the chains falling, falling. I hear the chains falling. There is power. In the name of Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel. Gabriel. The Lord is ministering to me. Gabriel. I give the chain. Gabriel, I give the chains for it. I hear the chains. Bring this lady. Chains, bring chains. Let her go now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Look at this lady has been tied down. Hallelujah. This is the cause of hardship on our family. There's nothing that they do that will succeed. It doesn't matter what happens. But right now, I instruct you because I see you in the spirit realm. Go. Go right now. Go. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go. The same thing is happening to that lady. Let her go now. Let her go. One or shall lay your hands on her. Both of them, both of them. Go. Go right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I command in the realm of the Spirit. Go. Go. Break. Shame. Hallelujah. Now listen. All the people in front here, God brought them out. I'm not speaking to them. I'm speaking to every spirit that was identified. You know my voice. At the count of three, 
I instruct you to let God's people go at the count of three by the fire of the Holy Ghost. You are leaving God's people now. One, two, three, go, 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 go. Come out of them right now. Come out of them now. Bring that lady. Bring that lady. Hey! I hear the chains falling. This lady is acutely under demonic oppression. Acutely. Bring her. Chains falling. I hear the chains falling. Come. Just leave her. She will come. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. How can a lady do this? Come back. Come and kneel down here. Right now. Leave her. Leave her alone. Come right now. Hey. You just leave her. You will see the power of God in this place. Today. Hallelujah. Listen. I want to pray for people with pain in the chest. A number of people with pain around the chest. Pain around the chest region. Hallelujah. Lay your hands there right now. Ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Chains. Leave her. She will come right here by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please lay your hands. As I pray for you, listen, a number of you are going to feel something just leave you. When that happens to you, please run and come out here. A num you will literally feel something leaving you. When that happens, let's have those people here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lay one hand and lift one hand up. And let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just help me with a symbol. Right now, in the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed. Whatever is holding you, peptic ulcer, be healed. I command that spirit out of them now. Out of them now. Out of them now. That spirit, leave them now. Be healed. Be healed. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. Now check yourselves. Check yourselves. Do what you couldn't do. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone with a severe pain on your kneecap. Just this kneecap. Very severe pain. In fact, it even affects you sometimes when you are walking. Where? Which of them? How long has it been? Okay. Lay your hands there. Both of you. Pastor, right? You are a pastor? Okay, no. I, I, lay your hands. That devil is a liar. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Huh? I've been having this knee problem. The bone is very tiny. The bone is tiny. And the load is heavy. And the load is heavy on it. Yeah. I even felt Hold my hands. Destroyed. It's okay. Bone grow. In the name of Jesus. Grow. I cast that devil. Grow. I command you. Grow. Grow. Lay your hands and I'll pray for you right now. As I lay my hands upon you, please test yourself and do what you couldn't do. Thank you, Jesus. 
Let the power of God come upon you right now. Please check yourself as I pray for you. Right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. God is doing miracles already. Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? Yeah. Just no, no, no. Come on, give Jesus praise. God is healing people right now. Any pain? Any pain? Don't pretend it. Don't worry. God is healing you. Are you feeling any pain? Do what you couldn't do before. Look at this. Come on now. Look at this. Thank you, Jesus. Hold my hands. God is going to set you free. Hold my hands. We need to pray for you. Because I see you lying down. Touch that guy. Just look at me. God is setting your family free. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost. What is this that I'm seeing? I'm seeing money. But it's tied with snakes. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is bringing financial restoration. Lord, let it be. I stretch my hands. By the force of the Holy Ghost. Using him as a point of contact. In the name that is above all names. Let there be breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Victoria. Victoria. I'm hearing the name Victoria. Please if I call your name or your case. Just hurry up. We have a lot to do so that we can. Victoria. There are two Victorias outside. There are two Victorias that are supposed to come outside. Where are you coming from? Outside, yeah? Victoria. There's one more Victoria outside. Both of you are outside. The Lord will visit you. How are you, my dear? Are you married? You know why? Do you know why? That's one of the reasons why you came here, Abby. Is that not so? You were praying to God and you told God to visit you, man. Yes, sir. Is that, do you know me? No, sir. Have we talked with you? No, sir. The devil that has stopped your marriage must let you go, right? Amen. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Because there was a time a man came into your life and he, was, he looked like he was serious uh, for reasons you cannot even explain. Yes, he sir. just gave flimsy reasons and left. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know why he left? I don't know. This is what I'm telling you. I see this all the time. I'm seeing the face of an old woman. It's not your face I'm seeing. This is what is driving men from you. It doesn't matter what kind of man comes. Something must happen and he will leave. But tonight, we see the chains falling. Hold my hands. I cast that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I need to pray for you too. Lay your hands on your stomach. If I don't pray for you, when it's almost time for marriage, they are going to tell you that there is a cyst growing in your stomach. Because sometimes you feel pain. Is that not? Even now, even now you yes. are feeling pain. Yes, sir. Especially during your period. Yes. The pain is very I severe. Know, and you have sometimes even irregular. It's when it's supposed to stop. It doesn't stop at that time. Yes, it is this thing we want to destroy. Hold my hands. Break chains. Break. You will feel like fire going through your stomach. The pain will go right now. Thank you, Jesus. Check yourself. Check it. Do hit yourself. Any pain. Any pain. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you. We call your husband, not a man, your husband. Wherever he is, I connect you. You will come and testify in the name of Jesus. This year, 2014, I lay my hands upon you and I release you to your marital destiny. Come, my dear. Where's your mother? Is she fine? I need to pray for her. The devil wants to put sickness in your mother. Father, for your mercy.
I want to pray for somebody. Listen, this is a family and there is no reason to be embarrassed. That lady on pink, just touch her. Come. No, just where she, stand there, look at me, lift your hands and look at me. Just look at me. Father, as you deliver her, let the power of God go to her family. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the power of God touch you and set you free and set your family members free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why are you all out? Eh? You are all Victoria. There's someone here. Please don't feel embarrassed. They took you to a harbor list. Listen. They took you to a harbor list and they gave you something to drink. Please, who is that person? I'm not saying you are bad. This is not, this is a family. Please. It's very important. The Lord is instructing me. I want to pray for you and break that thing. Please. This is a family thing. It's not even like it's just you. Please. We need to break this. There's, there's no reason to be embarrassed. Hallelujah. Can I pray for your mother? Hold my hands. Father, sickness will never return to the mother. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, Victoria. Look at me. May God visit your family. Please. This person I've spoken about, please make sure you come out. Don't, don't be embarrassed. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. They took you to a harbor list. They gave you something. One kind of... You are the one? You see the one? You are the one? This thing is affecting you. Wait. Stand up. Look at me. Don't feel bad. Just stand up. Stand up. Let me talk to you. Look at me. If I don't pray for you, you will die this year because this thing is going to kill you. Are you getting my point? That's why I called you out. Please remove his glasses. Hold it for it. Let, me, let it not break. Hold my hands. Because this guy sees dead people in his dreams. And he doesn't even know why. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. The power of God will come through your body right now. And you'll be delivered. Blotting out every handwriting. And ordinance. Right now. Be free everything you have taken inside your body that is destroying you. Go! Be free right now. Sister, let me pray for you. Look at me. There is bad luck in your life. Everything works well for others until it gets to your point. Huh? Is that true? We need to pray very seriously. Even you, you are worried about your relationship with Jesus Christ. Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right? You see, listen, it's either you are for God completely. Part of the reason why a lot of people get into trouble is that you're halfway with God, halfway with something else. Hallelujah. Tonight, part of what will happen to you is that a fire will be planted in your spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you, my dear? Look at me. Why am I seeing rings on your hand? Physically, there are no rings. But I'm seeing rings on all your ten fingers. Look at me. I need to pray for you. Huh? You need to be very, very serious with God. Welcome home. God loves you. And he wants to transform your life. Huh? But for now, you'll be delivered. Right? Thank you, Jesus. Right now, I curse this spirit. Leave her now. I see you in the realm of the spirit and it's time for you to go. Take away this devilish thing you are put in her life. Right now. Out. I hear the chains falling. You are not standing in for yourself. But for your elder sister, God wants to visit her. Lay your hands on your stomach. Because what is happening to her will happen to you. Lord, I take out anything you did not plant in her sister's body. 
even right now by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be restoration in the name of Jesus Christ come I need to break the spirit of loss from your life huh? I need to break it I'm not saying you're a bad girl are you getting my point hold my hands just look at me you are a devil of darkness leave this girl now go out of her now break chains your eyes is open but in the spirit you are blind and God needs to open your eyes that's why you are in a lot of confusion father let her eyes be open right now in the name of Jesus Christ I break the spirit of timidity from your life and you too same thing same thing out leave her God has not given us the spirit of fear break and chain break chains break and chain break chains break lay your hands on your stomach just look at me Lord set her free from this pain something will come upon you right now and that demonic pain will go let her go Jesus. hallelujah hallelujah where's the woman that came with her family from Abuja is she here quickly madam come with all your children please all of them Celebrate them as they come quickly. Break. Your time of visitation has come. That devil that oppresses you. Just give flowing strings. Please just play something for Hallelujah. Witchcraft. This is what is destroying the whole family. Witchcraft. This is not just the issue of prayer and fasting. This is the issue of deliverance. Out of this. Right? Where is the son? Come. Something comes upon you. You feel like something comes upon you. And when it comes upon you, you do a lot of destructive things. You will even have power that ordinarily you won't be able to have. Is that true? You feel that kind of thing? You will be delivered. Right? Amen. Madam, I need to pray even for the finance of the family. It's not like you are lazy, but you are suffering for nothing. Is that true? Please help us. Is this mic working? Hallelujah. Okay, don't worry. We'll just use one. Is that? Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. Huh? When someone works so hard, so hard, and then in the end of it, there is nothing to write home about. Is an error but the Lord will correct it my brother the Lord bless you you're born again you love Jesus yes, sir. just you or your children myself and my children hold my hands my brother look at me Jesus will set you free right now right you believe that hold my hands let's cast that devil of darkness out of your life father by your mercy in the name of Jesus go that's the end. It's free. I need to pray for you. You're going to feel like fire from my hands to your hands. And within two weeks, you will have a major financial restoration. Two weeks. You believe it? Jesus, confirm your word right now. Out of her now out of her that devil of darkness I command financial restoration for you where are the children both of you you love God you are going to teach the word you huh this boy he's going to love God and he's going to, you know this now God has already told you yes he has been 
God has told you. He, he, he has, has been, been into it. He has, he has been into it. Yes. Because the Lord showed me. I saw him standing with a Bible. And the Lord says he will teach the word. Hallelujah. I'll pray for you. You don't teach the Bible just with English. There is an anointing. Tonight I lay my hands upon you. Let that spirit of wisdom and understanding come upon you right now. Step into a new dimension. I open your understanding to understand scriptures in the name of Jesus Christ. You love God, but we must pray so that because of the quest for establishment, you will not join bad people. You want to be successful, but what God does not give you, you cannot get. Huh? Because there are bad people around your life. You are a good person, but there are all kinds of bad people, and we must pray. Huh? Lay your hands on your chest. There's something that will leave you. You did not even know when you started fraternizing with what is not of God. But tonight, my God, let there be deliverance. You are literally going to feel something leaving your chest right now. Let him go. Right now. Thank you, Jesus. Restore this family, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Go and return with your testimony. Where's the guy that has been skipping from university to university? His sister brought him. Are you here? The last Nsuka. Bring him quickly. His time of deliverance has come. Everywhere this guy goes, spirits torment him. He has, come, and, come and stand here. This is your night of visitation. It's over. Look at this guy. Listen. I want you to appreciate what God is doing in this place. There are people whose lives are, I'm not saying clap. The greatest gift you can give anybody is not money, it's not car, is to bring him to a place where he can find genuine restoration. Hallelujah. How many universities? Come, you are come. Are you not the one who brought him? How many universities? Same university. They've they've driven him twice. Twice. You think it's normal for somebody to get admission twice? UNN, right? Nsuka. Yes, sir. God will deliver him. Come, my brother. It's not. It's not like you are lazy, huh? It's not like you are lazy. Because I'm seeing something like foam on his mouth, and you cannot even articulate. It's like it's as if you are manipulated. God is going to set you free. You believe this? Yes. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, reign forever. I worship you. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at me. Something will leave you right now, and you'll be free. Let him go. Now, Lord, restore to him the years that the canker worm has eaten. Restore to him the years that the palmer worm has eaten. In the name of Jesus Christ, restore to him. Restore to him. Let him rise up a brand new person. I worship Hallelujah. If there's any case of barrenness here, whether for yourself or for your loved ones, please come out here. If you're married and you're experiencing barrenness, let them stand in the front. If you're standing here for yourself, please don't just be emotional. We're not joking here. This is very serious business. Look at me. Look at me. Listen. Let me tell you something. And don't please don't find it offensive. Every case of barrenness is demonic. What did I say? Every I don't care what the doctors say. Whether they say there is a womb or no womb. The, the person who is having this situation may not be a bad person. But I'm telling you, it must be resolved spiritually. Hallelujah. Please keep playing. You're tired. Play the strings. Ladies and gentlemen, see the number of people standing for loved ones. 
How many of you are standing in for yourself? Your sister, just look at me. Look at me. She's going to be delivered right now where she is. From me. Don't worry. Just look at me. Just look at me. Let her go. You are feeling something coming up on you right now. Let her go. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whether they say fibroid or no womb is irrelevant. I'm just telling you that this is a demonic issue. But when God steps in, you won't go back. You can't go back to the way it used to be. Before his presence came and changed me. Just try to connect and hold your hands together and lift it up. Madam, come let me pray for you. Look at me. How many years? And then he stopped. We are going to pray. Look at me. This is a family thing. Hold on. Because it's not only you. Who else? My junior sister. Your junior sister has the same thing. She has never had a child. That's to tell you this is a spirit. But as God sets you free, he will set her free too. Onegi kagi ekele diwigi onye ne mema onye di kagi ekele diwigi lay your hands on your stomach onye na oria look at me onye di kagi go and have your child onye ne mema father in the name of Jesus onye di kagi I open up your womb to receive baby boy you will come back with a baby boy lift your hands and sing before I hallelujah please lift your hands I'm going to pray for you whether you are standing in for yourself or for your family members the fire of God will come upon you and that person in question will be released. You are standing as a point of contact. My God, I pray that from my left to my right, in the name of Jesus, let the angel of fruitfulness move across this place at the count of three. One, two, three. Right now, wombs be open. Wombs be open. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Miracle children. Take it for your loved ones. Take it. Take it from the realm of the spirit. Whoever you are standing in for. I command all medical complications. Go. All medical complications. Go. I cause fibroid. I cause every cyst. In the name of Jesus, all those who do not have wombs, we put brand new wombs now. Brand new wombs in the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost is burning a lot of things, burning a lot of chaff. Every spirit of miscarriage, I curse it right now. I curse it right now. Right now right I curse it right, right now. now right the spirit now, of miscarriage. Every spirit that comes to eat up children in the womb. I arrest you. You are bound. You remain bound. Hallelujah. I prophesy to every one of you here. Make sure you tell your loved ones we prayed for them. That in the name that is above all names, they will not only take in, they will give birth like the Hebrew women. We forbid CS in the name of Jesus. They will give birth normally. No devil will eat up any child. There will be no miscarriage. And for those who have stayed a long time, 
we command twins we command triplets let there be a restoration i provoke it by the hand of god please don't think we're just entertaining prophecy does not just reveal it creates it creates it creates i tell you a lot of things are happening pregnancy is not just when a man meets a woman mary said be it unto me we put miracle children in their wombs right now from the realm of the spirit hallelujah god bless you please go back to your seat we see miracles everywhere miracles everywhere miracles everywhere. hallelujah now very quickly if you came here specifically for healing i want to minister to the sick right now specifically for healing or you brought someone sick now is your time please quickly ushers coordinate them so that they will line up very well you came here with any infirmity please if you brought someone now is the time to bring them out the worship team will lead us in a powerful time of worship as we rebuke that devil no matter how far you are wherever you are please find your way to the front you came here for healing it's called a miracle service it's not just a name please i need to pray for sick people fast because we need to release breakthroughs in other areas there are people who your own is not sickness your own is breakthrough please just line up those under the anointing just leave them there is a pool some of you as you are standing here right now the power of god will even begin to touch you before we minister now we are going to do it very fast hallelujah listen it doesn't matter what your sickness is right the anointing is not just the ability to heal is the ability to bring solutions to any kind of problem are you getting my point so while you are standing i'd like you to pray and say lord i'm not going back the same i'm tired this is it this is it worship team lead us bishop please come help me pastor williams hallelujah please those of you who are seated make sure you are not just seated watching be praying in tongues we will minister very quickly in case you are seated and you've not written your prayer request let's save time now is the time to start writing your prayer request and our online community those streaming online please they can bring their prayer request hallelujah father thank you because of your power let every sick body be healed let every sick body be healed in the name of jesus What's our genotype? What's our genotype? I'm not her mom. Who brought her? Mother, where are you? Where's the mother? You are the mother? 
What's her genotype? SS. She's SS. Don't worry. We're going to change it right now. Huh? Not just her, but this is something that will need to happen in the family. There is sickness parading itself as blood condition. It's not blood condition, anything. Father, we change this lady's genotype right now. Baby, let SS change to AA right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. And I cast the spirit of infirmity from her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection in your body, in Jesus' name. Jesus, there is What's wrong with you, madam? Jesus, Hold on, please. Your son too is SS. All of you are SS. Huh? You too, you are SS. Hallelujah. Madam, don't cry. Weep not. For there is one who is worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll. Hallelujah. Your child too. Can somebody collect the child, please? So that I'll pray for her. He's sleeping, so just let him continue his sleep. Father, we change his genotype right now in the name of Jesus. And we rebuke sickness. Please hold my hands. I need to pray for you. There is a lot of poverty in your life. Look at me. Why do people hate you? Huh? Is that true? What? I can't understand why. How can they just hate you just like that? Look at me. The enemy has done this. But tonight God visits you. Change her story, oh God. Change her story. You will return with testimonies of dramatic breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Alright, let's save time. Healing me. As I pray for you, as you go back to your seat, make we sure you check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Say Jesus. In God is out. Come out. A glory out of her. Now. God. Out of her. Now. That devil of darkness. God be healed now. Out of her. A Spirit of infirmity. God is a glory. Be set free now. He's a glorious God.
miracles everywhere. I see miracles I break every everywhere. Covenant with the power of darkness. miracles everywhere. And right now, and right now, miracles, miracles everywhere. I see miracles. Ha! You are the joy of the whole world. I say you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised and beautiful for all situations. Ha! You are the joy of the whole world. I say you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Hey, you are the joy of the whole world. I say you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all to the wager. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly. Joy of the whole world. I think you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful situation. Hey, you are the joy of the whole world. Think you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful all situation. You are the joy of the whole world, and you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised, Lord, beautiful of all situation. You are the joy of the whole world. That great and mighty God. Go out of her now. So greatly out of her. We pray out. You want to join be healed right now. I change that medical result. Email Email Oh, God, God. 
Okay, Gabriel, I remember. Where are they? All of you are Gabriel. The power of God is going to come on somebody, a lady outside. There is one lady, the power of God will come mightily upon her. Please bring her in. I need to speak to her. The power of God will come very mightily on one lady. Very, very mightily. I can't remember why I called you people, honestly. Let me pray for you. As I pray for you, just go back to your seat. Where's your father? Where's your father? Is in this meeting. Where is he? I need to talk to him. You are the best. Eh? He's not around. I mean, he's here. You mean? He's in town. He's in town. He's not okay, I thought he was around. I need to talk to him. Go and tell him that the gates of delay has been shattered. Look at me. Look at me. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Go and tell your father that the gates of delay has been shattered. Father, confirm your word. I give you praise. Your hands will bring bread to your table. You are a creative person. Make use of your hands. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to specifically deal with certain things right now. Hallelujah. Um... I'm not going to ask you to come out but I hope that they came out here we want to rebuke all kinds of incurable diseases I just want to take one or two minutes and rebuke incurable diseases because if we do not help God's people medically is incurable HIV hepatitis all this satanic things around make sure you never believe these things and settle on them believing that that's how we would be so please stand up everybody stand up please please rise up everybody We want to speak against every medical report that the doctor has said nothing can be done about it and in case you are here and any of your loved ones is in the sick bed please connect with them even as we pray right now hallelujah father I pray right now specifically for incurable diseases we depend on you and we ask for your mercy without your mercy these people are on their way to death but i thank you because you are the resurrection and you are the life and right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands anyone with hiv in this place i declare be healed right now in the name of jesus christ hiv be healed in the name of jesus cancer be healed in the name of jesus every form of cancer every form of cancer be healed in the name of Jesus every kind of hepatitis right now in this place I cause it to its root in the name of Jesus Christ hepatitis be healed be gone in the name of Jesus hallelujah for blood groups we are going to deal with that one when I minister prophetically Please lift your prayer requests. Pass it to the person at the last, at the last end. Ushers, please walk around all over this building. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is ministering to me. I want to specially pray for families 
with uncompleted building projects please find your way quickly and just stand here the lord wants to minister just one word i will speak i want you to believe i'm not saying you want to build a house please the power of god is touching people and changing uncompleted projects uncompleted projects please believe what i'm saying i'm not just playing pranks here as you're standing here the lord is going to set people free okay if, if there's no space just stand where you are and then i'll pray for you lift your hands everybody it will surprise you the bible says how that the hand of god came lift your hands the hand of God came upon Elijah the prophet and he ran the Bible says he overtook the chariots of Ahaz down to Jezreel I want to pray we are going to pray for everybody prophesying speed but I want to pray because the Lord is ministering to me specifically for building projects some of them are tied down because of finance some of them are tied down because of court issues some of them are tied down because of diabolic demonic things it doesn't matter what category sir Ogasa, god is going to visit you because your issue is it looks like it's money but it's not money this is witchcraft god is going to set you free are you getting what i'm saying lift your hands please my god i pray goodness there will be a lot of mighty miracles i want you to believe many of you are going to feel literally like fire it will come on your right hand it will come on your right hand in a very powerful way all across here right now the angel of the lord will move right now right now father in the name of jesus move right now everything stopping any uncompleted project your right hand the power of god is a prophetic language the right hand of god is power and by that power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus i command every uncompleted project be completed now in the name of jesus be completed now in the name of jesus every power stopping any building project i challenge you right now in the name of jesus every lack of finance responsible i command supplies from heaven supplies from heaven supplies from heaven supplies from heaven every land issue in this place every court issue we resolve it here tonight in the name of jesus christ go and return with mighty testimonies let the hand of god the finishers anointing let it come upon you and upon your loved ones a finishers anointing that unction that comes to finish what you have started receive it right now in jesus name god bless you please run back to your seat submit your prayer request very quickly hallelujah please listen there are a number of people here the lord is ministering to me mike can you play strings who is playing please play strings 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 just play strings hallelujah the lord is showing me a few people here please listen you had a dream and in the dream either a dog or a serpent beat you please come out there are a number of people in that kind of situation god is ministering to me that devil is a liar and what please if if this is if you're part of these people i've mentioned please come out a dog or a serpent i'm just flowing as the holy spirit is showing me because this is very demonic that lady is is, is one of the people and she'll be delivered right now no 
no matter where you are hiding even if you didn't come out here as i pray the power of god will locate you it's a very serious situation please stand up everybody please stand up everybody Bala, you're just going to clash the symbol for me i'm going to pray because this is a very demonic thing the lord is ministering to me this is the deliverance of someone right now a snake or a, or a dog an animal beat you in the dream it didn't create any effect but you may not know what it is causing to you right now goodness i see a pruning fork an angel of the lord standing with a pruning fork hallelujah at the count of three as they clash the simba there will be mighty deliverances here and some of you in the crowd as it's happening to them it will happen to you hallelujah father right now let your power begin to move every demonic object in your body right now at the count of three come out jump out and go one two three go 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 out of them out of them some people in the congregation it will touch you there too out of them every foul spirit i'm going to lay my hands on everybody out of them 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 please help them out of them, out of them, come out, come out, everything that has not been planted by my father that is responsible for your limitation. Oh yeah, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I command deliverance. Oh, dear, oh, yeah. I command deliverance. Oh, yeah. I command deliverance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You will be delivered mightily. This is a demonic thing on you. Release her now. Release her now. Now. Out. Release her now. Release her now. You must let her go. 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 Let her go. Out. Come out. Out. Go, go, go. Every devil, remove every demonic ring, every demonic chain, every demonic ring, every demonic chain. Let God's people go right now. Go. Release her right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. go now let her go by the fire of the holy ghost take off everything take your property pack your load on your mat get set go 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 Out of her by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out. I break covenants. I break yokes. Every act of witchcraft. I plead the blood and I set you free. Now.
Alléluia. Alléluia. Listen. This is the root cause of many problems in our lives and our families. Preachers have told us once you are born again, it's all right. You are filled with the Holy Ghost. You are seeing it by yourself that it's not all right. There is an operation of the kingdom that must separate you with darkness. Some of these people, what is happening to them is responsible for stubbornness, immorality, and we come and preach in church. We say stop it. It can't be stopped till that devil gives way. Bring this lady for me. Let her go now. Once and for all. Remove this demonic ring. I see a lot of rings on her feet, on her hands. Remove it and pack your load and go. 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 See, bro, you should thank me for what I'm doing. I'm preparing your wives and husbands. You just get up and come and meet a lady. And then you don't pray. You see why we tell people to be spiritual. That's why many people keep wondering. Why will a brother come to me and run away? Or why will a sister come? I break covenants. This is an usher. Oh. This is our own usher. Go! Go! I see you in the spirit. And I command you to go. This spirit that is tormenting this lady. The Lord is showing me. This thing has been in this family for 178 years. This is what God is showing me. It has nothing to do with her. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's save time. Have you submitted this? Father, let none of these people return with any influence. It must let them go. It must let them go. Hallelujah. So you see a student will write jam and write wayek and enter the school and all of a sudden become dull and people keep insulting this child is not good you think people just smoke because they want to smoke or they sleep around just because they want to sleep around brothers and sisters there are influences and it takes the power of the holy spirit to keep the devil where he belongs so that the people of god can enter the reality of their inheritance that's why you see people who keep testifying. Oh, breakthrough just started happening in my family. You may not know what has been limiting them. That's why here we don't just heal the sick. I told you the anointing is the power of God to solve problems. Any kind of problem. It's not just healing. It's not just wheelchairs. There are destinies that are tied down. And they need the power of God. You will be amazed that after you leave this meeting tonight, doors will just be opening. You will see how easy it is. And then you will know that something happened to you. It doesn't matter whether you came out here or not. Once you are under the influence of this sound, something is happening to you. Hallelujah. I want to pray on this request right now. Hallelujah. Many of you have communicated your thoughts and that of your family members right here. Please, if anyone has not submitted your request, do that very fast. As we pray on these requests, I don't care what you wrote here. May this be the last time you will see it. In the name of Jesus Christ, every Pharaoh and every Egypt that you wrote and dropped here, as surely as the Lord God lives, this will be the very last time. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. 
Bishop, come, please, Pastor Williams, come as we pray on the request. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Make sure you are praying in tongues. Visitation, oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people, oh God. Let there be breakthroughs. Visit your people. Visit your people. Visit your people. Visit your people. She break the balladadadabash. Oh, ne. She get it, get it, baba, 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 baba. Oh, rakata balladadabash. Please stretch your hands. Connect with us. All those online, they should connect with us. Lord, let this be the last time. Oh, ne. Oh, ne. Oh, ne. Oh, dear, oh, ne. Thank you, Father. Because with you, nothing is impossible. With you, no request is impossible. Anything that is not in existence can be created. Father, we thank you. Because this request cannot defy your power. Thank you, Jesus. Because it is possible. Thank you, Jesus. We see the answers. Lord, we receive in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Because from this night forward, we'll begin to see the manifestations of everything we wrote here. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for healing. Thank you for breakthrough for families. Thank you for jobs. Thank you for marriages. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. We celebrate you, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We declare and we speak over these requests. We turn them into testimonies. We turn them into testimonies. We turn them into testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you're a minister of the gospel and you came you came from another place what i mean minister make sure you're a preacher minister of the gospel you're a ministry and you came from outside of this state please come out i want to minister to you right now hallelujah is there anyone like that please quickly quickly let's save time just come and line up here the Lord will ignite you tonight. Hallelujah. Do ministry with integrity. Do ministry with truth. Ministry is not about money. Or flamboyancy or manifestation or going on air has no nothing to do with that hallelujah ministry with integrity with the fear of the lord that who you are in the open is who you will be in the secret 
the secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant I want to pray for you that God will characterize your life and your ministry with signs and wonders that struggling will end for you in the name of Jesus Christ lift your hands as I pray for you my God in the name of Jesus let something come upon them in the name of Jesus let something come upon them by the power of the Holy Ghost let something come upon them in the name of Jesus let something come upon them let something come upon them in the mighty name of Jesus we're about rounding up please rise up the prophetic ministration is the greatest part of this meeting as far as I'm concerned please stand up everybody this is the moment I want you to shout amen we're about to open doors breakthroughs of all sorts in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah wherever you can hear my voice make sure that you shout a big amen please lift your hands the Bible says believe in the Lord and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper this is not the doing of any man what you see is an election of grace when God calls people he empowers them there are vessels today carrying anointings that can change people's situations and change people's story hallelujah and I'm about to pray for you that something will truly open up in your life this is the part you get to receive lift your hands hallelujah can you play the keyboard mic please please lift your hands I want you to shout amen with everything that you have Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, O ye everlasting door. Every gate limiting your progress in the name of Jesus will shatter that gate into pieces. I shatter it into pieces, into pieces. I command gates, gates. Gates, hear ye the word of the Lord. Gates, I command Ephata be open, be open, be open, be open. Gates of marriages, gates of restoration, be open. Anyone trusting God for a job here? In the name that is above all names I command miracle jobs now miracle jobs now miracle jobs now I provoke your destiny help us may they find you may they help you may they honor you for every limitation you have experienced in your life and your finances in the name that is above every other name I command breakthrough receive breakthrough receive breakthrough in every area of your life breakthrough in your academics breakthrough every result that is not your own we change it tonight we change it tonight let the angel of God go to every faculty every department we command change any family that has been victimized in this place any family that has been victimized in the name that is above all names whoever plan evil against your family we judge them this night let the sword of judgment rest upon evil to us let the sword of judgment 
whoever said your family will not lift up their heads may my God judge them may my God judge them hallelujah every ordinance of darkness every enchantment every spell that has been written over your life that you will not become what God died what Jesus died for you to become this night we blot out those handwritings we set those altars on fire those shrines on fire and we release you anyone here who has suffered delay of any kind I don't know what area you have suffered delay or your loved ones but I want to pray for you right now my Bible says and I will restore to you the years canker worms can eat time they can eat years of men's lives but I pray my God and my King right now I shout it in the spirit restoration 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 receive it restoration I prophesy I decree restoration of joy of peace of finances of opportunities hallelujah there are some of you because of your mistakes of the past certain things have happened in your life and like samson many people are laughing at you and mocking you that will your strength return i want to prophesy to you just like the hair of samson grew back i call forth anointings that left because of indiscipline i call back opportunities that left people because they misused it I call it back I call it back the God who changes times may he change times to your favor hallelujah now lift your hands there will be impartations right now it is vain to attempt to serve God without the empowerment of the spirit there are many of you who are passionate about the things of God what you need is fire in your life what you need is grace what you need is authentic unction I'm going to pray for you let the men around you know you are serving a living God lift your hands it's going to clash the cymbal and I'm going to begin to speak and there will be impartations of gifts prayer altars will come alive dry bones will come alive make sure lift your hands thank you Jesus hallelujah you're going to shout the name Jesus once and I'm going to begin to speak many of you my God I pray especially for those who have never had encounters dramatic deep encounters let these encounters swallow up spiritual laziness swallow up prayerlessness right now shout the name Jesus once take it now receive it the gift of the Holy Ghost fire fire take it take it inside and outside fire the spirit of prophecy receive it the healing anointing I release it upon you go and heal the sick receive it the healing anointing take it prophesy visions I command visions visions let the vistas of the spirit be opened up to you every gift available for your enriching i command prayer fire
Take it now. Take it now. Pray a fire. Pray a fire. Pray a fire. Regate tete e prokotoba man prakata e koske e banda pa regate tete regate tete e prokotoba. I found a fire on your prayer altar. It comes back alive. I pray for you right now. The Bible says, Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness, and that oil sets you above your fellows. The anointing for distinguishing. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Everywhere you go, be set apart. Be distinguished. Take it now. Hallelujah. 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 And the Bible says, Esther went to a man called Haggai, the one who took care of the virgins of the king. And he gave her a particular ointment to keep rubbing for one year. And she passed the king once and he found favor. I want to pray for you. That anointing that can cause you to ride sweatlessly that grace for favor in the name that is above all names receive it now receive it now receive it now shake up baba sekete man protoskopa so take it take it take it take it baba 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 Yes, be distinguished. The favor of the Lord is upon you. The favor of the Lord is upon you. It marks you. The favor of the Lord is upon you. It marks you. Hallelujah. 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 There are many of us who are praying. And said, Lord, what was I born for? Why did you bring me here? What was I born to do? I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. It says, Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written. No confusion. A purposeless man will never find fulfillment. I want to pray. That God will grant you revelation of the reason why you were born. That out of the seven billion people in the earth, you were born for a reason. Therefore, my God, let the angel that brings revelation visit your people in the name of Jesus. Through dreams, through visions, through prophetic confirmations, receive the mandate of your life. Receive the blueprint of your life. Hallelujah. Every habit that you are struggling with that is mocking your Christian experience, I don't care what it is, pornography, masturbation, anything that is compromising your Christian experience, right now i judge the spirits behind it i judge the spirits behind it and i command them to let you go be free be free be free be free from every habit be free hallelujah for those of you who do not have a zeal to study the word again it's not like you're not serious you don't even know what has happened to you 
there's no zeal to study the word some of you are finding yourself you were once on fire in terms of your word life some of you would pray through the night some of you would study suddenly distractions happen i want to pray right now son of man can these bones live again and he said only down knowest i prophesy to you every dead spiritual life in this place my god i pray let the wind the east wind that reawakens dead things that is responsible for resurrection from the east side of the spirit let that wind blow over your life and bring restoration now 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 hallelujah listen to me god wants to make the best out of your life but you must be willing to yield yourself there are two kinds of people in this place right now there are those who have been taking these things of the spirit just playing around you may be born again but your life is so unpredictable you're not serious you know that you need to make it right there are others who have never made this decision for jesus you go to church you have a christian name hallelujah and there are others who are backslidden completely and they need to be restored as i count one to five those three categories of people whether you've given your heart to the lord and you found yourself derailing or you are praying and saying lord i want to be serious with you from today or you are saying lord i'm surrendering everything as i count one to five please i like you to run like your life depends on it god is waiting for you right here one please don't wait for anybody two inside and outside it doesn't matter what you have done run 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 i didn't say walk run run like your life depends on it three Jehovah, we praise you. Jehovah, we, we praise you. We praise your name. We praise your name. I want to pray for you lift your hands i salute you for making this decision this is not unto a man but this is unto god hallelujah i like you to say this after me from the depths of your heart please don't play games with god god is willing to make your life better than you can ever imagine now is the time to shame the devil and say enough is enough enough i'm tired enough is enough say after me convincingly from the depths of your heart lord jesus i repent of my sins you're not reciting a point make sure you understand what you are saying i repent of my sins and i love you with all my heart forgive me today i make jesus the Lord of my life I ask for forgiveness cleanse me wash me I receive your life into my spirit from today forward ever and backward never I denounce sin and Satan and I live unto righteousness Holy Spirit come and live in me make me a new person in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted and I'll pray for you father receive these ones into your kingdom and your family let today be the beginning of a dramatic and a genuine transformation 
I break them free from wrong companies and Lord I pray that they will be empowered in the inner man to do mighty things for you hallelujah praise the Lord now look at me every one of you I congratulate you this is the best decision you would have ever made in your life and I want you to know that no matter what went wrong in your life this is a fresh start hallelujah now tomorrow listen please tomorrow Bishop Stan will be meeting with you at the chapel just close to the chapel bookstore for the experience of the baptism in the Holy Spirit you need it they'll be guiding you sharing with you a few foundational things it's very very important time is what sir 5 p.m. prompt please 5 p.m. prompt for now I like you to follow the ushers they are waving at you and they will have your information we'll pray for you and we'll follow you God bless you please follow them God bless you follow them very quickly hallelujah let's take the following announcements very quickly if you're worshiping with us for the first time this is your first time aside from those who are going out if this is your first time of worshiping with us here at koinonia we love you and we want to bless you please wherever you are just find your way to the front right now god bless you please find your way quickly quickly koinonia celebrate them this is not your best there are people who came all the way from Jos, all the way from abuja different parts thank you so much god bless you hallelujah god bless you this is koinonia a ministry put together by eternity network international hallelujah thank you so much for coming we appreciate and we celebrate you we meet every friday this is not our venue our venue is cgc we had to make an arrangement because there was something going on there so we'll be there from next week we're back to our venue the lord bless you thank you so much for coming your life will never remain the same in jesus name stretch your hands saints of god and just bless them pray for them may the lord bless you we cause the heavens to be open over you we bless you with hunger for spiritual things in the name that is above all names may you experience the hand of god in dramatic ways you will understand the intimacy of the holy spirit in the name of jesus thank you once again for coming may the lord bless you may the lord honor you hallelujah i like you to just follow the ushers they'll communicate a few things to you and you'll be back thank you so much koinonia celebrate them very quickly god bless you thank you dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline